Good night, everybody. Today, uh, at the Monday Night Movie Club, me and my good friend Vivek, Vivek are going to be telling you about the movie called A Man Called Otto. Today, it is only us two as there's a bad winter storm, so the others uh, are not here. Vivek, would you like to start us off? So the movie A Man Called Otto is about a man who went through a lot of tough times in life and was going through depression and thought many times throughout the movie about killing himself. And if you if you are going through that or you know a person who is going through that, call the kids help phone, which is one eight zero zero six six eight six eight six eight. Call them for assistance and guidance or therapy. So, Vivek, would you like to summarize the movie? Okay. So, this is the summary was, so, a man called Otto is is in a neighborhood, and he's he's grumpy. He yells at people a lot. Uh, he's, a, like, a strict rule follower. And, like, I, and as I mentioned, he's went to, through uh, tough times, and he's had a wife who's died in the past, and he's just trying to get over that. And um, well, he, he keeps trying to s- attempt suicide multiple times, and but he, and he's also trying to find more, f- make friends with people in his neighborhood, but uh, and he wants to make amends with them because in the past, what ha- he broke friendships with them. So, and, and because ha- having friends will help you a lot, in becoming better and having a more happy life, so he, that's what he needs to do. So he does try to attempt suicide, hang himself and stuff, but he fails to do that, which is w- which was actually really good because he learned that there's more to live for, that he can't just, <laughs> but then it's because it's not just, you shouldn't just go suicide just because your wife died. Yes, it is a tough time, but you n- you need to move on. So I feel like that's what happened, and in the end, he learned that, and he he made good fr- he became friends with his neighbors and everything. So that I think that's a lesson. In what do you, what what's your summary on the story? My summary, um, so the man called Otto, his wife was in a, but or they were in a bus accident, and he was in the bathroom, so he did not get hurt, but his wife who was pregnant at the time, was paralyzed. And so they lost a baby. Um, And then many, many years later, when they were both old, she eventually died. And he was just very sad about that, depressed, because he couldn't do anything about it. And they were were both still very young. Um, And uh, so he is depressed, and he tries killing himself. Because he has also lost his job, so he has nothing now. So, like I just said, he's depressed. He tries killing himself, but four times he fails. And every single time, the reason he failed was because of his community members. Uh, the people in his community. Uh, that's all. What is the message of the movie, Vivek? The message is that there's tough times will happen in life, but you have to learn how to get through those and stay strong and move on in life. What do you think the message was? Um, I think it is, even if you think that you have no one and you have nothing to do and you're useless, someone might need somebody like you in their life. Uh, Vivek, what scene stood out to you the most and what made them stand out to you? The scene that stood out to me the most was uh, the scene where he was uh, saving the guy who was like, unconscious from getting ran over by a train. And that's because like he was he showed how grumpy he can be throughout the movie, but it also showed that he still had a good side in him and that he would could still be 
nice and he could still care about people and still want to save people. So I, that was like a scene that stood out to me because if it wasn't for him, that man would be dead. Everyone else was just, was not worried about the guy. They were just filming him. They didn't care if he got ran over by a train, but he was the one who took, who took the bravery to do that. So, yeah. Uh, the scene that stood out to me was the four times when he tried killing himself because I already said that because his community members stopped it every single time. And the first time when he tried to hang himself, that was the wall that broke, and then he went outside, and the new neighbors were there, and they didn't know how to parallel park the trailer they had attached to the car. So, we're back. Did any major common themes appear in this movie, and how so? Mm, a major theme that uh, I would say what happened was forgiveness, and because he had to forgive himself for failing so many times. Yeah. Number five. Were there any elements in this film that reminded you of any stories or messages from the Bible or religion? I would say community, because yes, his wife was dead, but if it wasn't for his the his friends in the neighborhood uh, and uh, the neighbor friends neighbors uh, that he w he would probably that would probably want to make him actually go suicide uh i mean attempt suicide because um attempt suicide again because those neighbors and friends were show that that just cuz he didn't have his wife anymore doesn't mean he has no one in his life and that he still has some people in his life that he t that he likes and that he can have spend time with so i think that was a big factor for to him like being happy again and not wanting to kill himself um i also think something uh, that reminded me about was the golden rule which is treat people how you want to be treated basically and if you were depressed uh you'd probably want uh someone to help you in a way as what Vivek said at the very beginning with the kids help thing. Anything else for that, Vivek? Nothing? All right, uh, anything else that caught your attention? Is there anything else that caught your attention? Mm. Not sure right now. Uh, the one thing was near, uh, at basically the end of the movie, um, it went back to, uh, the other family that Otto, that made Otto, kept him from killing himself all those times, and it showed a wall with a bunch of pictures of Otto and the two girls that they had of Easter's and Christmases and uh, all those things that they celebrate. So they would have had a good connection or relationship. Actually, I got a, something that caught my attention. It was, um, I, I, for, I forget his, this guy's name, but they were friends since they were young, like very right when they got into the neighborhood. And, I re and they, they kind of stopped being friends for a while. And then I remember the scene while he was in a wheelchair and he was just talking to him. He like smiled and that kind of shows like that they were friends again. And I think that was a good scene because he was starting to get more friends and like a friend that and that was a friend he n had known for such a long time. They stopped being friends for a while. They wouldn't they weren't talking. But then that just showed that like, yeah, we're friends again. And I think and I remember that time when he was like smiling in his wheelchair Showing that, like, like, I like that he likes him. So that I think was something that definitely got my attention. Would you recommend this movie? Explain. I wouldn't really recommend this movie to someone who's um is like mm, this movie was more of a more of a like a sadder movie, more of a movie that didn't really get not w a movie with less excitement that's kind of why I wasn't able to get interested in it very much uh, so I I don't think 
I would want to recommend this movie to someone, but some people might like it. But personally, I wouldn't recommend someone to watch it. Uh, I would, I would recommend this movie to not people my age, but people older, like in their fifties or sixties, because Tom Hanks was in this movie and he's like popular as an uh, older um, actor. So, and when we did leave the theater, it was mainly just older people there. So I feel a lot of older people would watch this as it's slower, less exciting than let's say uh, a Marvel movie or like, I guess Indiana Jones or Star Wars, something like that with a lot more action, excitement that a kid would see. So, yeah. Oh yeah, so. Uh, I I, I, f- I, d- I didn't put I should have put my wallet in my backpack, but uh, I accidentally left it in the theater. And two uh, good, really good people who were uh, there, they c- took the wallet out, uh, took the wallet from that chair, and they gave it to me. So thank you for that. Thank you, Mug, for giving us an amazing refreshment while making this uh, video. We have an offer for you. If you, if you watch if you watch this, tr- think about giving us a get a sponsorship, and we'll be very grateful for uh, for that opportunity. Thank you for watching. Thank you everybody for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>